Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab Active Pro, which is an Android tablet made by Samsung. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that in order to continue, we have to either verify the previous security screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on use my Google account instead, it'll pull up the second screen that tells us that the other option, oops, tap on it again. There we go. Tells us that the other option is to sign in with a previous Google account that was used on the device. And so we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then of course, once the buyer discovers the lock, they're not going to have any of the previous user's login info. And unfortunately, the seller in those cases has has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. It's something that we do directly to the tablet while it's plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection. And we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here on this one. So actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock just so we could keep the video as short as possible. There's just one step left and that is to restart the device. And so to do that, we got to hold both of these buttons together. There we go. Restart. There we go. So, like I said, the last step is to just restart it, and then we should be able to see after it boots up that we can indeed get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google Lock page. So, just hold on while it finishes booting up here. All right, there we go. We are fully booted up and ready to go, so we're going to hit that blue arrow there to begin going through the steps. We first have to read and agree to Samsung's terms and conditions. Do that and hit next. And then it's gonna ask us about copying over old data, which we don't need to do. Then it's gonna bring us to the Wi-Fi screen, which we don't actually need. So we're just gonna turn it off and hit skip. Now it's gonna have us read about all the different Google services that are offered. So we're gonna hit accept there. Then it's gonna ask us about putting a screen lock on the device, which we don't need. So we're gonna skip that. And previously we could never get to any of these steps because we would have run into the Google account lock screen first. So not seeing that and being able to get to all of this is a very good indication that the lock has successfully been removed. Here it tells us that's we're all done. So once we hit finish, we should be able to see that yep, we've got the home screen loading up here. We've got full access to all of the apps and settings and features and it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna pop into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go under About Tablet, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab Active Pro and then that model number there, the SMT540. That is the specific model number of this device that we are working with here.
So if you have one of these Tab Active Pros and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer lots of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we did here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.